Hello, my name is Michael and I'm the percussionist for Scottish Opera's Fox Tot. I'm joined today by my friend Darren. Hi everybody, my name's Darren and I'm also a percussionist. And together we're going to be looking at the sounds and instruments used in the percussion corner of the opera. We'll look at how these sounds are used to tell the story alongside the singers, looking at the real instruments first, and then also looking at things that we can use to recreate these sounds using things you have lying around at home. So first things first, we're going to look at the tambourine. Now the tambourine is usually used when there's a really happy moment and usually the characters are dancing in the opera. Now there's a lot of unique sounds with the tambourine, usually like the shimmering jingles, but we're going to be focusing on the drum-like sound of the centre. To recreate this, we're going to grab a wooden spoon and then either a chocolate or a biscuit tub. Now, we're going to learn a rhythm on this instrument and in order to help us remember what the rhythm is, we're going to learn some words to go along with it. So the words for this are going to be, I can dance just like the fox. I can dance just like the fox. I can dance just like the fox. Excellent. So that's our tub tambourine. Okay, so the next instrument we're going to look at is the shaker. And in Fox Talk, we use the shaker to mimic the sound of the rain. Okay, so we're going to make our very own shaker at home and it's very easy. All we need is two things, a plastic bottle and some rice. So first things first, you're going to take your plastic bottle, a smaller size bottle works better like this, just so we can hold it in our hands easier. You're going to take the lid off and you're going to fill it with rice. And you can see here, I've not got loads of rice in here, but that's entirely up to you. It's whatever you prefer. So once you're happy with how much rice you've got in, the next step is the most important, and that is putting the lid back on. Because if we don't do that, we'll end up with rice all over the house. And there we go, we have a shaker. Amazing. So, just like in the tambourine, we are going to play our own rhythm, but we're going to use some words to help us out, or some sounds. And this is how they go. So we're going to mimic the sound of the rain falling from the sky and bouncing off the ground and it's going to be like this. Pitter, patter. Okay, but we're going to do it a little bit quicker so it's going to go like this. Pitter, patter, pitter, patter. Pitter, patter, pitter, patter. Pitter, patter, pitter, patter. Pitter, patter, pitter, patter. Amazing. And last but not least, we're going to look at the guiro. Now, the guiro is an instrument from Latin America, from Cuba, and we use it in the opera to sound like a ribbiting frog. Can you hear that frog? Now, to recreate this, what we've done is we've found another spoon, this time a teaspoon, and we found a can from our cupboard. Now this can can be full or empty, but if it is empty, just grab a grown-up to tape around the edge before you use it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the side of the can, this rough edge here, and use this to recreate that sound. Now, our last rhythm is going to be rib it like the frog. Rib it like the frog. Rib it like the frog. Excellent. And those are our three rhythms. So we're going to just go over those once more. Grab your tub tambourine. And remember, I can dance just like the fox.
Okay, so just a reminder of our shaker rhythm. It's pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter. And last but not least, your frog guiro, your can guiro. Grip it like the frog. Excellent. Now the fab thing about these rhythms is that actually, as well as sounding brilliant on their own, they all fit together and slot in like a jigsaw puzzle. So what we're going to do to finish this video is Darren and I are going to play all these rhythms on top of each other and then maybe play some solos on top of them. And you can join in. Now you might notice at the end that we've added some instruments that we've not discussed today. However, that is the beauty of finding things that are musical at the house. So what you can do is you can go around your house and try and find things that you think would sound ace and then join in with the end of the video. So until we see you next time, it's bye from Darren. Bye. And it's bye from me. And have fun finding musical objects at home. Bye.